What's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter Stories 2. In this one, I want to put together a quick handy guide on some of the best armor sets you should consider picking up early game. As you're progressing throughout the game, you will of course encounter a wide variety of monsters, much like you would in a regular Monster Hunter game, and of course there are armor sets to craft. It's of course a lot easier to craft armor in this game, given that you just have to craft one complete set. However, that being said, you will still encounter a lot of them, and uh, some of them are great. Some of them are all right. Admittedly, just, you know, use whatever you want because, you know, looking cool is a very important factor. But there are some sets that are particularly useful early on in the game. So much like we do in regular Monster Hunter games, kind of putting together mixed sets or sets that you can kind of use to get through that early content. I'm going to do the same in Stories 2. So if you do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know how your Stories adventure is beginning. Also worth noting, I'm basically going to kind of jump through a few different armor sets in here at various different points in the game. No spoilers. Spoilers, nothing like that. It's all going to be stuff that has been shown in trailers, so uh, there will definitely not be any surprise armor sets in this video. So to begin with, the very first one I want to talk about is the Kuriaku armor set. This, of course, you will encounter very early on. In fact, if you guys have played the demo, you would have already fought Kuriaku. This is a useful armor set because it carries the skill of Dancer. Admittedly, only the small version, but it does carry Dancer, which basically increases your speed when at full HP, meaning you have a chance to attack first. So, of course, at the beginning of battle, when you're full HP, that will be pretty handy. This is also a skill that you can get on Monsties as well. Kind of useful, and it's definitely something you can benefit from early on in the game. However, outside of that, I would also recommend the Bone Armor set. This is kind of a staple. I feel like if you've played Monster Hunter games in general, there's normally some kind of bone component you work in early game. It's very easy to farm, and it also carries the non-elemental attack boost. Again, small, but this does boost non-elemental attacks somewhat. So the main thing to keep in mind if you are going to be using this, make sure that you are crafting weapons that do not carry an element, otherwise it's just a waste. But early on, all your stuff is non-elemental, so it's actually a pretty good early game set. Either of those ones you can pick, run through the first couple of areas, you'll be completely fine. It's also worth noting that as soon as you be in the game and you meet the bottle cap vendor, you can very early on get the Azeros armor. You can of course craft this later on organically, but if you do want to use your bottle caps, Azeros armor carries health boost, so of course you do have that nice boost to your health. I would say early game, you're not really going to have to worry about this stuff, but, of course, it will also depend on, say, how familiar you are with this title. So if you are still learning the mechanics and you're getting hit quite a bit, then some increased HP can be useful. Next up on the list is the Great Jaggy Armor. Again, you can use this one pretty early on and as you start approaching the second area. This one carries a very nice skill called Critical. Critical is basically, you know, it increases your crit rate somewhat and crit hits do a great damage, especially if you are on uh, type advantages and especially if the monster happens to be downed, then uh, it's a great chance to stack up some damage. So this is, again, useful skill both on your own armor sets and also for your monsties, but this is a nice thing to have and Great Jaggy, incredibly easy to farm. Additionally, it's also worth mentioning that once you get to the second area, the bottle cap vendor will update. Basically, every single time you get to like a new town, he will have more stock for you, and he'll then have the Ketcher Watcher armor set. This is, of course, well before you encounter Ketcher Watcher. And uh, the nice thing about this one, it actually has a couple of cool skills, the most notable one being Divine Blessing. If you played Monster Hunter before, you'll know this one, but it sometimes reduces the amount of damage taken. It is, of course, a chance, but you do have a, uh, a decent chance of this. It's a medium skill and does proc more frequently than you might think. So again, if you get hit by some of those big, powerful moves that would have killed you, then this can be useful. It also has Evasion Instinct, which, of course, boosts your evasion by a good amount at less than 50% HP. So those combined basically just make it so that you can occasionally either avoid being hit or tank that hit. Then as you move in towards the next area you can of course encounter Kezu and the Kezu armor is pretty nice. It has a skill called self heal. It also has some thunder defense boost but we're not too worried about that. I mean it can of course carry some value but self heal is the most important thing you want to focus on. This will recover a good amount of HP at the end of each turn. Keep in mind you can also use charms at the prayer pot and the prayer for this. So uh, those kind of things combined are actually pretty useful because of course every time you end a turn then uh, it just kind of tops you up a little bit, which is quite handy. So this one, pretty easy to craft and also kind of nice from a survivability point of view. 
Now, following on from there, as you get towards the next area, again, keep in mind, you can craft as many things as you want, but honestly, for me, most of the time, I crafted one armor set each area, and if I needed to, boosted the defense maybe once or twice, and kind of just ran with that for a good chunk of the time. So I'd say a lot of the time, you won't need too many different armor sets, unless you just want to craft them. But as you get to the next area, if you craft the Diablos U armor, this one is incredibly nice. I use this one from this point till almost the very end of the game, and the reason for that is because it uh, it does have Slugger, so of course normal attacks can inflict stun, and of course it can increase the uh, stun chance, but it has two very nice skills. One of them is negate one hit KO, so this will always negate moves that would otherwise kill you in one hit. Very, very useful because again, as you get towards the later part of the game, there will be some monsters that will hit you incredibly hard. On top of that, you also have Critical Kinship Medium, which is a skill whereby critical hits will fill the kinship gauge faster, and the kinship gauge fills up quite a lot faster in general. And then finally, my very last recommendation goes to the Lagiacris armor, partly because I'm a massive fan of Lagiacris. It's an awesome looking armor set. In fact, it's one of my favorite armor sets in the entire Monster Hunter series. However, it is also a very good armor set. In fact, I used this one once I was able to craft this, I upgraded this and I used it for the rest of the game until obviously I get to end game and now I'm looking for something else. The reason I use this one is because it has a few nice skills. You have again, Thunder Defense, not really worried about that, but you have Soul Kinship Medium where your Kinship Gauge will fill up a lot faster. And you also have Kinship Skill Plus, which increases Kinship Skill Power by a good amount. So not only are you boosting your skills, but the fact that your Kinship Gauge fills up faster if you combine that with the fact that you are nicely pulling off double attacks, it is very, very easy to get to a max filled up kinship gauge, which again, when you get to some of the later fights in the game, is going to be incredibly important. Being able to use a kinship attack to tank an incoming hit to skip the opposing monster's turn, believe me, it's going to make a difference. So this is my uh, armor set. In fact, I'm still running this armor set until I craft something new. So uh, this is, without question, a fantastic pick. So there you have it. For the time being, that's a little rundown on my recommendations for some of the early game armor sets you can use as you sort of progress throughout the game, things to look out for. Of course, again, craft whatever you want. If you might have favorites just because they look cool, but if you want some recommendations, those are my picks. Thanks again for watching, and of course, keep it locked for plenty more Stories to content. If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.